Hi guys, so I've decided to do the My Perfect Imperfections tag um, because I think it's a really good one. Um, everyone's probably going to say the same thing, but this is just my little stamp on it. Um, just so you know, I tried to do this video while my son was asleep, so if you hear any baby noises, that's my little man. Hey. Hey Noah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the rules of this tag are there's to be three things you like about yourself and three things you hate about yourself. Well, not hate about yourself, but dislike about yourself. The imperfections that you think. So I'm going to start with the things that I dislike about myself. Now, every woman I know is probably going to say the way they look. Now, I'm not going to include that as one of mine, but I'll just let you know that before I fell pregnant with my son, I did hate myself. I hated the way I looked, everything about it. I have lost 12 kilos, so it does make me feel a little bit better about myself. However, I found that since having my son, my confidence is through the roof. Um, even though I do still dislike my body, I am working on getting it to the way I want it to be and I have never been more more motivated than what I am now. So let me just get into the tag now and I'm sorry for all of that jibber jabber. Um, now I haven't written anything down, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. So the th three things that I, I dislike about myself, one would probably be my nails. I don't know if you can see that. My whole life as a kid I bit my nails something bad. Then when I sort of become about 18, I sort of thinking, oh my god, this just look disgusting. So I started to get acrylics on them. Now I got acrylics for maybe three or four years. Um, I had them up until I got married and then I decided that I didn't want them anymore. I mean, they were $60 every three weeks and I just thought I could better use that money somewhere else. Um... So I got them removed. Now the good thing is is that I don't bite my nails anymore. The bad thing is it was either the biting my nails or the acrylics that actually made them feral. Um, I haven't got nail polish on. I usually do but I wanted to take it off for the purpose of this video. Um, they just grow horribly. Sorry, that was my dog. <laughs> just seems to be stuff going on around my place at the moment. I, I live on acreage and there's cars everywhere because I think a dog has um, passed away up the road. So, poor doggy. But, back to my imperfections. So that's probably one of them. Um, 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 my second imperfection would have to be um, one of my eyes. When I was about 14 years old, I was chasing after my cat and he ran through a sliding door and it was only open that much. There was a curtain over it. I didn't realise that the door was completely shut and I ran straight into it. And my eye, the corner of my eye hit the door latches. Um, and just ever since then I've noticed that this sort of eye in here dips in a lot more. So why I'd why I call it my imperfection is because it drives me up the wall when I have to put eyeliner on. I still have yet to figure out how I can do winged eyeliner with my eye the way it is. It's driving me bananas, but I will find a way. Um, the third imperfection... Now, I was going to say my hair, but the reason why I don't like my hair at the moment is just because of the cut. Um... The, the place I went to, I thought was fantastic. They just let me down. The experience was completely horrible. So, so that's I'm not going to include that. Um, probably my stretch marks from from having a baby. Um, I don't think I'll ever have the opportunity to wear a bikini, just solely because of how many stretch marks I do have. I should have expected that I was going to get them. I have very sensitive skin, um, but I just, for some reason, didn't think that I would. Um, but what can you do? Um, so that's my three imperfections. 
um, my things I like about myself. Um, I like how much I have fallen into the role of being a mum. Um, before I had Noah, even when I was pregnant, I just didn't think I could do it. But the late nights, I mean, yeah, the tiredness gets to you, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So I think one of my perfections is how well I've just fallen into it and how much I love it. So I know it's probably a bit cheesy, but it's the truth. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, I see another perfection. Um, 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 um. Can I? Oh, I need to add another imperfection. Is my height? I'm only four foot eleven, so um, pretty much all the clothes and everything that are made in stores are, are set up for you know five foot nine sort of women. Well, I'm constantly taking my pants up, and sometimes areas around the stomach and the legs don't fit very well. Um, and also find the cleavage too. I mean, it's always good to have cleavage, but when you're short like me and you're you've been blessed in that area, then it can become difficult. No, sorry, let's get back to my perfections. They're harder to find than my perfections, but I'm guessing everyone else is gonna have the same problem. Um probably at the moment this area. Um you can't sort of see oh sorry about that. You can't sort of see much, but since I've been working out um and doing boot camp, I've noticed that this area up here, I really love. Um, I like wearing singlets, I and mean, I've still got the, the flabby arms and what have you, but I just really like how defined they're starting to look. Um, makes me feel really good when I look in the mirror. Third thing, I've got it. I love my skin. Um, I still get the, the occasional breakout, but when I was pregnant, I lost all my nutrients, and my skin was just ridiculous. Um, and then it's taken me a long time and I found the perfect skincare regime for myself and I will post a skincare regime up in the next few weeks so watch this space um, but yeah I love I just love my skin at the moment it it just feels like I don't mind walking out of the house without makeup on I know shock horror but probably the only thing that I would I like if I'm getting casual, like I usually have a casual Sunday where I don't wear any makeup at all. Um, so probably what I like to do is just put mascara on and then a little bit of lip gloss if I feel the need. But usually I just put lip balm on. Um, yeah, and I just really am loving that at the moment. Um, so that's the end of, of my tag. Um, I would like to tag anyone else who is willing to do this. Um, I think it's actually a really good one for women to do and men too. I think men have a, a few little issues themselves So if you're a guy and you want to do this tag by all means go ahead All right lovelies. I'm gonna love you and leave ya. Bye